So let's go through some of the people you represented, okay? And, 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 and then maybe some that, you know, I don't even mention that you may have some stories to, to cover. Obviously, we talk about Meyer Lansky yes. and then Fat Tony Salerno. I know you went through Nicky Scarf of Philly uh, Leonetti. Uh, Stardust Casino boss Frank uh, Lefty Rosenthal, Jimmy Chuck. Me, some people I, may I, not I remember represented, Jimmy. I represented everybody. You represented pretty much everybody. But uh, why don't we talk about Tony? Right. So let's talk Tony about Tony Spilatro. Let's talk about Tony. Very Spilatro. interesting guy. Okay? Very interesting guy. Because uh, uh, the FBI and the the local accused sheriff accused him of killing 22 people. He says. Well, That's they, they the say number. 22 now. It used to be 27. All my clients I killed 27 people, according so to So maybe the five are alive now. They I found don't know. Them. The, the, the authorities always said, Goodman's clients killed 20. This guy killed 27. I said, not 26? I mean, you read a story about the Tony putting a guy's head in a I vice won the case. and the eyes popped out. I won out. the case. I, I, so, I, I, so did it happen? Did it? As far as I'm concerned, I won the case. Jury, uh, they, uh, they found him not guilty. Maybe he got a good attorney. Maybe he was innocent. Maybe, may, maybe he had good money. Maybe he had, because you know, maybe lobsters he was pay in. well to attorneys. They paid me well. I'm sure they didn't. You're a good attorney. Well, they. So how does the how does the uh, populace know if it happened or if it didn't happen? And is that okay if we don't? You don't. What what, uh, what difference does it make? But it, is it, it okay if we don't? Sure, it's okay because the only thing that matters is what the jury has to say. Yeah, but you went. All, you also went back when I asked you. I said, "What would you change about the laws?" You said, "I don't like the fact that some of these." FBI agents can get on and they can abuse their power. That's but correct. It's up to, uh, but you have to bring that out. I bring that out during the uh, case, and you hope you have some reporter who's not out in the hallway smoking. You also said you said you'd rather have your daughter date Tony than to date an FBI agent. Yeah, I did. You I still believe that? Tony Spilaccio never lied to me. I never had an FBI agent in any case that I ever tried tell the whole truth under oath on the stand. How do you like that? So that's your reasoning. How do you like that? That's 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 scary. And I didn't let him get away. And it was a very bad winner. You know, you talk about bad losers. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a bad loser. If I lost, I lost. I was a bad winner because I made them suffer uh, when uh, the jury came back and said that, because of the way I tried my case, the government only had to do two things, because I rarely put a client on the witness stand. Do two things. One, they had to follow the Constitution. Not a bad rule. And they shouldn't engage in prosecutorial misconduct by holding up a pair of panties with red paint on it and saying that the woman was raped and the jury's supposed to think it's blood. Okay? United States Supreme Court, they said uh, that's wrong. But before they said it was wrong, it was done all the time. Yeah, you, you said so many good things about Tony. You said yeah. this guy was a nice man. Let your wife even said Tony was a nice Even I think your mother one time met Tony Absolutely. when he was out here. Absolutely. You know why? And, and they, and, you and know your why? Mother said, your mother said they didn't even treat me like his mom. They treated me like a, lady. a human being, like, like a lady. A lady. And she used to, to say, me. Oscar's clients never hurt anybody. They just killed each other. Okay? <laughs> and she also said, Oscar's clients took me to the best Italian restaurants. That's not bad. Uh, 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 but when Tony Spilaccio came, you wish you had friends like Tony Spilaccio. When they came into my office, they said hello to my secretaries, good morning. When they asked for a cup of coffee, may I please have it. When they got a cup of coffee, they said thank you for it. You can't ask for more than that. You can't ask for more than that. Uh, I know a lot of big shots, okay? who don't say good morning to people. That is true. Who don't thank people. You could have those guys. So then it becomes the level of value on what is at the top. Because if I'm gonna take out somebody on my own family or within a community I'm a part of, maybe you think that's okay. Like if I'm gonna go against somebody else that's in my community, you've chosen to live the life of being a maid man or a capo, and you cross us, we gotta do something about that's it. That's where they live. Uh, you know, I had the case up in uh, Massachusetts yeah. uh, representing Vinnie Ferrara. Mm -hmm. They uh, The prosecutor, in order to prejudice the public against him, at a speech in front of other prosecutors, referred to him as the animal, Vinnie the animal, the animal Ferrara. They, well, you said they would never call him that they in his face. They wouldn't call him that to his face. They'd be scared yes, to call him that. that to his face. Yes. And his sister was a nun. They never called her a penguin. This guy loved his little doggy. And when the judge had Vinny in front of him and listened to the wiretap uh, that Vinny did not know yeah. he was being recorded on, he said, these people have their own code. Uh, I don't agree with their code, but they follow their own code. And he says, you know, there's something decent about a lot of them. Mm. Uh, when you get to know them, you don't look at what the other side says they are. Well, then let me ask you a question. If they're so decent, uh, uh, would you support the fact to bring more wise men and, uh, and, and uh, mobsters back so we can have more, you know, of their culture come back? Is that also what you're saying? Or are you no, also I'm not, not saying, saying that? I'm not saying that at so all. So they're, they're decent in the way they treat uh, 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 people who uh, uh, are not part of their culture who have crossed them. So is a Tony good for society? From my perspective, he was a very nice fella. Now, from the uh, authorities perspective, he killed 27 people. And uh, they said to me, how can I represent a guy like Tony Spilaccio who killed 27 people? How can you represent a guy when you know he's guilty? How can you do that? I said, wait a second. 
You're the cop. How can you, you not put him in jail if he killed 27 people? He's walking around, never spent a day in jail. So who's wrong, me or you? Sorry, I get excited about no, this No, I mean, stuff. look, you, you, you're a professional for what you're doing. And by the way, his life, Tony's life, was played by Joe Pesci as, I think, Nicky Santoro or something like that in Casino. Yeah, right? I forget, so I forget the, the name. The hothead, but he had charm and he had well, charisma. Well, you know, but it's he interesting. Was, it was, it was, it, uh, he, he did a heck of a job. Um, when I, uh, I, I played myself in the movie, mm -hmm. and when I went out to the wardrobe set the first day, uh, it was like, deja, like Yogi Berra would say, it's like deja vu all over again. I see this little fella with a crooked arm holding a valise. I said, Jesus, Tony. And Tony was dead, of course. It was Pesci. He looked just like him. He looked just like him. When now, you guys shot the movie, did they ever come over? Like, and I know you said one oh, they time, come to my home. Pesci came over as well. Like you, oh, they all came to my oh, house. They all came to your place. All came to my How home. How that experience? How was oh, that? Oh, I thought it was the greatest. Uh, uh, De Niro was a very quiet fella. Pesci, very noisy fella with a cigar, stunk up my whole home. Uh, Sharon Stone came over and it was great. Uh, Elaine Wynn was there. She's a multi-billionaire and uh, Sharon Stone's not doing bad and Carolyn Goodman's all right. And it was great seeing the three ladies doing the dishes together. That was pretty cool. Uh, uh, Scorsese was there. Pileggi was there. Scorsese was yeah, there. Yeah, they were all there. Cool. And we had a wonderful time. We really did. It was a, it was a great dinner and uh, Carolyn made a great meal and everybody enjoyed themselves.